Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I have a video coming up that's going to be part two of my triple unboxing. And so I'm super excited about that, but we will get to that in just a minute. In the meantime, I did want to show you one item I have for sale and that is my Longchamp Navy Neo extra small nylon top handle lay pliage bag. Boy, that's a mouthful, and I think I repeated part of it, but this is from the Neo line. The Neo line has been discontinued. You can no longer get the leather strap where it is removable and attaches through grommets on the ears of the bag. I think the new line is called Energy, and the strap is non-removable, and I believe it also could be nylon, but don't quote me on that. This bag is navy. I've used it a few times. I took it to sporting events. It holds a bunch and I'm letting it go because I just expanded my Lululemon belt bag collection by three more. If you didn't get on my community page today and go order a Lululemon belt bag, you missed out. There may still be some available. So go run, check because they had eight colors. They may have even had more than that. I think they had eight colors of the large size, which is my favorite. And then they had, when I got on, they had four colors of the small size. And in the very beginning of the morning, I wasn't able to add them to cart. So I waited an hour, I went back, I was able to add them to cart. And so then I posted it right then. And several of you have messaged me and told me you got them. So I'm getting a navy one. And so that's why I'm selling this bag for sporting events. I absolutely love those Lululemon belt bags. This bag is in excellent condition. I've only used it a couple times. If you look on the inside, it's lined in almost like a waterproof material and it just has this one pocket here. Looks like I might have a little piece of lint down there peeking out, but as you can see, she's in great shape. She may have a couple of tiny little hairline scratches on the hardware, but none of my bags have been used enough that you're gonna really notice anywhere to speak of. And I think I sprayed this one down with Colonel Carbon Pro, but if I didn't, I don't really think you necessarily need to do that with a bag this dark. So if you want her, I don't remember the retail on these. It was either 195 or 225. That's a pretty big difference, I know, but I'll let this one go for 165. And I'm setting it there because I think I got it for 20% off and they're not available anymore. So if that's something you're interested in, please let me know. And that is the price shipped. I take Zelle, Venmo, Cash App, PayPal friends and family. And on Venmo, it would be non-goods and services. But if you can do Cash App or Zelle, those are my preferred methods. So now I'm gonna let you get into the video and the unboxing, yay! It looks like I'm doing the peace sign here, but I'm trying to convey that it's part two, which is gonna be super confusing because on the first thumbnail, I held up three fingers. So maybe I should hold up three fingers for the thumbnail for all of them, and then just put that as part two in the calendar. So I've already sliced and diced this box. I want to go ahead and open it with you. This is something I promised I would do. It is a coach item once again, and it's in a teeny tiny little box. Well, it's not a box. It's in a teeny tiny little dust bag. So let me go ahead and whip it out of the bag, whip it into shape. So this is her. This is the new C chain, the C link chain. And of course you all know, and you have asked me, where can I get a C chain like yours? And I have been answering and I've said, you can't because this came with the dinky 19 bag a couple of years ago, maybe three or four years ago by now. But Coach heard our cries and answered us with something sort of similar. And so here you go. The one on your right is the new C-Link chain. And the one on your left is the old C-Link chain. You can see that the one on your right is kind of a bigger C, a little bit more bubbly perhaps. And the one which is now on top is more of a U it's still a C, but it's more of a U shape, perhaps. Actually, they're both U shaped. I don't know that one of them's more of a U shape than the other. Actually, the new one looks like it could be more of a U shape than the other, but 
I will say that the one on the bottom, which is the newer one, is more bubbly looking. So if you look at the old style C logo, you will see that it is more similar to the old style C chain than it is to the new style C chain. If you look at the new C logo, you'll see that not only in color, this C chain is slightly a paler gold. It is more similar to this bag than the older one. And everybody's been ooing and aahing about my older one compared to the newer one. And so I figured I would show you both of these chains with each coach bag I have in my collection that might look good with one of these dangling from it. Those bags include the Cassie 19, the Soft Tabby, the Field Tote 22, and the Pillow Tabby, that's four, and the Studio Bag, which is five. Before we get started with that though, I do want to address the differences that I haven't yet between these two chains. There's about a two inch difference in length. The new one is 18.73 inches long. The old one is about two inches longer. And I have been told that the new one is heavier. So let me go ahead and remove the price tag off of the newer one because I don't want to include that in the weight. And we will just measure it and see what the difference is. I've got my little scale here and I've got it set to ounces. So the new one is 4.6 ounces. And remember, it's about two inches shorter than the old one. The old one is 2.9 ounces. So that is a pretty big difference. That says to me that the old one is probably made with resin components. And I kind of ran into this when I was doing some modifications on my Riley 22 bags. Some of the pieces that Coach has that look like metal are resin. And you never know which ones they are because aluminum is also very lightweight until you try to alter them and the resin ones will break. So I think that this one is a metal chain. That is my opinion. Let us get started with the beautiful Dove Gray Studio Bag. I went ahead and put her crossbody strap on and I wanna go ahead and put the new C chain on and show you it dangling. And then I will put on the old C chain and show you it dangling and you can decide which one you like best. So here's the new one. You'll see that it's shorter so you can pop it up over the corners of the bag or if you want to, you can kind of get it to go over the side but really it won't go down past these corners as long as your strap is on. And I really like that length for this bag. You'll see the older C chain, it's got to be over one corner and then hanging off the side. If you put it over both corners, it's tight across the bottom. And so that's how you have to wear the old one. So I would say with this bag, since I do not anticipate wearing it on the shoulder due to Oh, a myriad of factors. This comfortable crossbody. I prefer the new C chain. And you can buy the new C chain on coach.com for $125. You can't buy the old C chain anymore. If you do find one of the older model C chains, you're really lucky to get it for less than $200. I know, that's crazy. But that makes the $125 new version seem like it's quite a deal in my opinion. So the second bag let's look at is the Cassie 19. I have a feeling that on this bag, I will really prefer the old model. And the reason is, is I think that I could wear it with the old model on the shoulder. Let's give it a try. This chain is about 21 inches long. So yes, I can pop it on the shoulder in a pinch. Of course, the Cassie 19 comes with a really nice chain. So you don't need one of the C chains to wear with it, but it is nice to have the option. And as you can see, the chain is definitely a dangle length chain. It goes well below the bottom of the bag. And that's because this bag is narrower than the studio bag. Let's pop on the new version. And this is, like I said, it's about 19 inches, just shy of it. And you can see, once again, you're not gonna get this going over to the bottom of your bag as long as the strap is in the upright position. 
Let's see if we can do shoulder carry with this. I don't think so. It is really all up in my armpit. So for the Cassie 19, the older model C chain is a winner. And I feel like it also matches the hardware better because the new Cassie 19s in the sport red and the cherries and even in the older colors that they brought back, like the rust signature black and chalk, they all have this older emblem on them, not the newer, more bubbly one. Next, we've got the Pillow Tabby 26. To be completely frank, my favorite chain to use with this bag is the XIAZW Amazon chain, not the C chain at all. But I know there are many who have put the beautiful C chain on the Pillow Tabby 26, and it is stunning. So let's do that. You can find that other Amazon chain in many, many of my videos. So if you're interested in that, you can either ask me or go back and look. I have featured it many times. The older C chain looks fabulous with this bag. I think the links, though, whether they're the new style link or the old style link, will both work well with the black pillow tabby. Once again, I don't really think. I've got kind of a weird strap situation going on here, but for what I want to show you, I think this works. A 21 inch chain does work for shoulder carry, but I wouldn't do this all the time. This just works in a pinch. The Amazon chain that I like so much, it's a 23 inch chain. So let's put the newer model C chain on the pillow tabby and see what we think about that. Once again, for a dangle length chain, this is better because it doesn't hang past the bottom of the bag. So when you go to set this down, you're not gonna plop it down on your car seat and have the chain go underneath the bag and then dent the bottom of your bag. I'm constantly having to readjust this chain so that it's not underneath my studio bag. For that reason, I think I'm going to prefer the newer chain with my studio bag. This is too short though. It's really tight here and it hurts. So if you wanna use it as a shoulder carry, the older chain or the Amazon brand chain, which I will grab, might as well while we're here. This is the Amazon chain I am referencing. It's a flat chain, so it's really comfortable. And I really don't think that you can beat it when it comes to the pillow tabby bags. It's 23 inches long and it is incredibly comfortable on the shoulder. And I love how it drapes across the top of the bag whenever you're not using it, when it's just sitting on the shelf being pretty. So you can certainly spend the money on the $125 coach chain, or you can do this. And the length on this is the best out of all three of them. And this chain is under $20. Whether or not you buy the coach chain or the Amazon chain though, you will get free shipping and free returns. With coach, you have to be an insider, I think, to get that deal. But insider status is free, so why not go ahead and sign up for it? If you're a new insider, I think you even get a discount. So that would be definitely a handy thing for a $125 chain. I would say that the number one bag I get asked about is my denim soft tabby. People say, what chain is it and where can I get it? And it's always about the C chain. Now, this C chain here is not long enough. You see that? It's banging against the hardware. And I did not know that until just now. We are experiencing this disappointment live together. That would scratch up that C and I couldn't stand it. So if you wanna do this C chain with the soft tabby, you're gonna have to put some sort of an extender to get it below the buckle. That's why the older style C chain is perfect for the soft tabby handbags. I'm sorry guys, I wish I had better news. I've had a lot of you ask me 
about where I got this chain to go with this bag. And I've directed you to the coach website since they did come out with the new C chain. And if you've already ordered it, what I would recommend doing is going on Etsy or somewhere like that. Amazon, I think also sells them. What I've done so that I get the finish that I want, which is this antique gold finish, is I'll buy Yi Chain extenders, but then I will just take these off. I think it was like $6.99 for a set of two extenders, and then I got four of these little circles, and I think four of these little circles would be enough to get you the extra two inches you need to drop the chain to the right spot. That won't look bad and it'll match the hardware and it'll just look like a little bit of extra bling curving over the top of the edge. You thought that I was gonna leave you high and dry and you wouldn't know what to do, but I will link those extenders down in the description box. So if you ordered the chain and you're like, man, it's banging and I can't stand it, I got you covered, don't worry. The last bag I wanted to show you was the Field Tote 22. I bet that the new chain works better with this bag if you want to bling out the front of it than the old chain. And the reason is you wouldn't wear this on your shoulder. I do wear this on my shoulder with a 28 inch chain, one of the Yi chains that's 28 inches. And I've shown that in some of my videos as well. I can link my field tote videos or try to find one. I'll just link all of my field tote videos. So if you want to go back and see what that looks like, you can find one of those. But if you do want to just bling out your bag, that works. And you could still wear it crossbody. You could still carry it top handle. Doesn't affect functionality at all. Of course, that's the new chain. What would the old chain look like? I do like that the old chain is lighter weight. But what I don't like about that is I'm afraid of my break. I don't know which one I like better. I think it's a matter of personal preference, but I sort of feel like it hitting just below the badge, the coach badge, was really attractive. But now I look at this and I think it's really attractive too. So I don't think you can go wrong either way if you want to snazz up your Field Tote 22. So in summary, I want to keep both of these chains. I love the pale gold color on the new version. I love the shorter length with several of my bags, including the Studio bag, the Field Tote 22, and I like it with the Pillow Tabby too. I like how it's a little chunkier to go with the Pillow Tabby. I think that works. I like the old one better, of course, with my soft tabbies. That's a definite. I think it's a tie with the Field Tote 22 if I wanted to bling out those bags in my collection. I think the older model works a little better with the Cassie 19 because it gives you that flexibility to pop it on your shoulder. But either one of these is an asset to your chain collection. I would recommend them. And if you want a more budget-friendly option, the XIAZW brand or the Yi Chain brand, either one, come in an antique gold finish that is just spot on with the coach finishes. So if you like this video, please give me a huge thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring my notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.